Welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, Carlin Brothers Box Breakers. Oh yeah, we are breaking some boxes today because today is the finale. Get ready to tally those points. It is gonna all go down. We have some very exciting finishes for the season, including in this episode, Margot, Tyler Gillies, Braun, Shadow Loop, and Dom, all of whom have a shot at either that top eight spot or the top big winning spot, or you never know, someone might go bonkers and just go straight from the bottom to the top. We saw it happen just last week with Rosie the King coming out of nowhere, sitting in that top spot with 106 points. Without any further ado, let's roll that intro. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the wheel of inertia. No, no energy. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, all right. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. All right, final spin of the season. What is our type advantage gonna be? What do you think it's gonna be? Eyeball. I was gonna say eyeball too, but I Let's always think see. it's eyeball. What a spin too, a truly We're magnificent. Not, I mean, you gotta go big on Here the finale. Go. It was eyeball! Oh, it's gonna be a good day, you guys. It's a it great is, day. It is eyeball energy, and because we've been forgetting, let's change the boards. <sighs> Yeah, you thought you could get away with the panel, the finale? I don't think so. I'm so bored. All I want to do is open cards, and he always does this, and it takes forever. Done. The only good news is that I napped. Oh. While you were doing that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. so I feel better, excited, thrilled almost. I'm kind of glad you did, now that I think about it. Oh, okay. You gonna break that box? I'm gonna break, ooh, I'm gonna stab myself. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I ruined your pen in the process. I know, geez. Haha, <laughs> stole the plastic. I'm really excited about our mulch pile underneath us. I don't know if it actually made it into the final cuts the past couple of episodes, but we've started leaving all of the packs on the floor. It's quite a mulch. Around us. It is, I call it mulch. It's a lot. But it also pleases me. It is fun. It's yeah. sort of like, you know what? We used to blow up fireworks as a kid and there'd be this like disaster field afterward and that was almost my favorite part. Yeah, it's, right, it, yeah. Like, it's yeah. just like the, the wreckage. The wreckage of all the all the sparkler boxes you'd burned. The hey, fountains. Speaking of wreckage, do you want to tell them about today's randomly chosen common chase cards? I sure do. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Starly, Mankey, and Lucario. I have no faith in any of those three. I don't feel like I've ever seen any of those pack those cards before. Oh, none of them? N none of them. Not even one time. That's okay, because the uh, eyeball energy type advantage, I think, is going to be big. There are lots of psychic type Pokemon in this particular set. But let's go ahead and kick things off with a highly anticipated contestant. Oh. It's Tyler Gillis, presently sitting in sixth place with 52 points. This is their final pack. They will need more than 52 points to get into the lead, but even if they move up just one or two spots, it could affect eighth place a little bit, pushing someone else down into it, pushing themselves into it. If they get bumped, we'll just have to see. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. So we've got the lightning bolt energy right there. We got there the Tarantula. Tula, the Riolu, the Magneton, the Clawitzer, the Crocolore, the Florges the will score, the Muck, the Tandem Mouse will not score, but the Ooh, Bombardier the will, does, and, and oh, the, the Cyclozar. Cyclozar. I don't think that's a 50 point pack, but the Bombardier is okay. It's probably not messing with the points too much, the rankings that much though. Yeah, not too bad. So we're looking at uh, number 219 on the set is worth $2.17 overall. So round up to three. Three, four, five points on the pack for 
Tyler. Tyler Gillies is going to be 57 on the season. There we go. So, and honestly, there's a big gap between Tyler Gillies and Margo uh, from 52 points up to 79 points. So oh there, was, there was some breathing room in there for that to happen without it actually disrupting anything. So Tyler Gillies currently sitting in just a solid sixth place, a even more sixth than he was before. It feels very possible, though, that two people get above 57 points in this episode, which would push him into eighth place. On the other end of things, so we have Jacob Worginus up Worginus. This is not helpful. I know, this. we said this last time, because it says like the drink, but then there's, it's like, were gin, like gin, like the spirit, or Guinness, like the- Like, like the, the drink, the like beer. the beer. Yes. So, J Jacob W is up next. They've got three points on the season. It's your pack. Is it? Is it my pack? It's your pack. It's, this we're, is, we're just, this is, we got the, we got the last, the, the I know, last. I'm so excited. It's the finale. I'm yes. like, oh man. I know, we got the jitters. I know, I'm so excited. Margo's gonna be in today's episode. We're gonna see how that's gonna go. Bam, another light. Lightning bolt, uh oh. We have a repeat. Is it gonna be one of those boxes? It's gonna be one of those boxes, I think. Oh right. gosh. Oh, and the Riolo, the Tarantula, the Magneton. Almost the same cards. That's I know, weird. that is weird. Oh, the the Driftland will oh, score. Oh, the Driftland yeah, scores. The Defiance Band, the Tatsugiri, the, the Flabebe scores. The Crocodile does not. Oh, the, oh, the Jacques the does. Or Jacques will score for you. All right, let's see. So it's gonna be at least. Three points, but I have a feeling the Jacques is a little bit better. Let's see, number 236 is gonna be worth $3.58. We'll round it to four. four. So six on the pack. There we go. A couple of good starts to the day, honestly. We got the yeah. Bombardier and the Jacques right out of the gate. It's uh, gonna land Jacob at nine points on the season. So probably not gonna be taking any uh, prizes home. A good reminder, though, that if you're looking for the Big Steve Award, you're going to have to land somewhere at 12 points. There's presently, I think, two people tied for it. So we will have to do some math at the end to figure out who exactly has the lowest rare card value at the 12-point mark. Yes, indeed. All right, next up, we have Andy, who has got uh, five points on the season so far. All right, Andy. Let's crack this pack. Bam. Apparently participates in duck pin bowling. Hey! I like ducks. Yeah. All right, we got the teardrop energy. We got the Mareep, the Silicobra, the Bisharp, the Riolu, the, the oh. Flaffy, the Blissey, the Tatsugiri, the Quaxwell will not score, the Fui Coco will not score, and the Quaqua will. Well, wow, so just a single point on that last pack. I feel like that's gonna be sort of a rare occurrence today. I know, I, I mean, because there, there are a fair few uh, eyeball energies in this set, are there, there not? I believe so, that was my impression, but now maybe maybe not, we've only had right. two so far. No, having having second thoughts. I know, all right, next up is Ariel Stormborn coming Ooh. in with five points, so looking for a seven point pack, probably. Also probably a seat atop the Iron Throne. Also That's probably that. Yeah, you want to watch out for this one. Let's see, what do we got? Boom. All right, Metal Energy. Not, okay. no Eyeball Energy yet, but there is a Scoring Grievard. Spupa, Metatite, Team Star, Zangoose, Youngster, Capsicator, Chonk, and Houndstone. Oh, look, at Evolution Line, and this one will count twice, so it's gonna be three points. Three points on the pack with that type advantage going on there with the rare card. So that is gonna bring your total to eight. On the season for Ariel Stormborn, doesn't quite get the 12 she's looking for, but maybe she's had better luck over in Westeros. There we go, there we go. All right, next pack's gonna go to John Borg. Oh boy. Who I feel like, is, are they having a, a They've just got five points on the season. Five points on the season, okay, yeah. okay. I don't know why that name was, was showing up for me, but. That's a memorable right. name. It's a very memorable name, so maybe that's what it is. You just got one of those names, you know? Yeah. You know how some people have like one of those faces, it's just like they're highly recognizable? Mm. All right, let's see. So we got the Salad Energy, the Grievard will score, the Mastiff, the Pontiar, the Wiglet, the Vivalon, the Doxbone will score, the Tatsugiri, the Shroomish, the Cyclozar will score, as well as the Palmot. Aw, oh, man, there we go. So just a four-point pack overall. Man, so nine on the season, not quite enough for the 12 points. Found a couple of different ways to score though, so there's that. All right, next up we have Charcopple, who is coming in with six points on the season, so looking for another six points. Is it me? I don't know. Okay, this I'm gonna go This is what for happens. It. This is what happens, this is when we get when we deviate. All right, let's see, Charcopple. Six points on the season? Yes. Okay. All right, we want six more points. Metal energy, still no eyeball yet. Metal energy, got the Go-Goat, the Scatterbug, the, the Shuppet will scores. score, the Spurgatito, the Jacques. So much grass in this one. So much. Wow. The Stone Journer, the Mabostiff will not score. Uh, Ralt's the Ralts will. will score, as well Our as the Gyarados. Gyarados. Yes. All right, so three scoring cards. What's the Gyarados worth to you? Let's see, see number 45 on the set. will come in at $1.83 overall. So that's just two points, two, two. three, four. Yep, that's correct. Ah, uh, so close to that six points they were looking for, but they finished with 10 points on the season. 
Uh, Charcopal apparently prior to this game had never owned a Pokemon card. No way! Well, I cannot imagine this being the the mechanism as to which you start. I know, right? Now you have Pokemon cards and now you have a Gyarados. So there you go. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Next up, we've got Collard Cow 41 who has eight points. So looking at a very reasonable four points is what we're going okay. for okay. here. Okay, that's, uh, that's not a big ass. That let's see a Collard Cow. Enough. You can do it. I believe in you. You can get the Big Steve Award. Four points coming up. Grass Energy. All right, okay. so there's there a Grievar. There's okay. one point. Ponard Wiglet. Well, Nest Ball's ball. two. There we go. Wow, so if you only three. score one more, you'll be right there at the 12. Yeah, there we go. The Picnic Baskets, the Squawk Ability, squawk ability the Pachirisu does not score. And the Quick Wall does, so it awesome. is four points. Boom, so in contention, wow. in contention. It's going to come down to that total rare card value. And honestly, this works out pretty good because neither of these will work towards it. It's just that Quack Wobble. Right, so let's take a look let's at number see 54. It that so we're worth 10 cents for the Quack Wobble. 10 cents? That seems pretty reasonable. That does seem pretty reasonable. That's, a, right. that's a prime example of the Nest Ball helping. Yes. I feel like the Nest Ball has actually been like difficult for people most it of has, the season. It has like bumped people out of last place a bunch. Right. All right, let's see. Next up. Oh boy, you guys. Here we go. This is the one everyone's been waiting for for a month. This is Margo's final pack. If you will recall, Margo sat atop the leaderboard unchallenged for a large portion of the season, but in the last two weeks has fallen hard to fifth place after initially pulling that alt art Miriam. It is Ben's Pack, I well, believe? Technically, okay, so I, I realized that I must have gone double because you only have three code cards oh. on your side and I have four. So you can, this is interesting okay. because the course of destiny has been slightly deviated from Argo. So I would say pull from your side. All right, here we go. All At right. 79 points. Margo needs what, 21, 27 points to tie, 28 points for the lead. Could it happen? At the very least, it's more points for Team Grass. At the very least. All right. Teardrop energy, so not type advantage. Can Margo pull off a miracle here? Can she pull something massive in the final pack? So far, we're off to a slow start, but that doesn't mean we can't have a big card at the back. Blissey, Tatsugiri, Rotom doesn't score, Wug Trio, and the Klefki! Oh. oh, so unfortunate. We'll score two points, but unfortunately, not enough for Margo to clog her way back. That is going to keep her in fifth place so far at 81 points on the season. Oh my gosh, you know Rozzy the King took a huge just, sigh of just relief. Just massive. <gasps> So now we've, now we've seen Margo, we've seen Tyler Gillies, we still need to see from uh, Braun and Shadow Loop in today's episode to see. Those are the, the top contenders, but the two big ones are now off the table. They are so. off the table. So Rozzy's sitting a little prizzy, but Rozzy came from almost nowhere themselves, so they know the power of the underdog. Right. Next up is Kelly K. All right. They have right. got, oh, a 15 points, so not really playing for even the big Steve. They're either going super big or hoping to land in eighth. Either will require quite a push here. All right, let's see. Let's see. There's still no no eyeball energies off off of the. Nope. Uh, yeah, someone is going to get the type advantage soon. We've got the Toad School, the Sandile, the Houndoom, the Fido, Fido will score. You're right. The Scovelin, the Torkoal, the Breloom, the Smoliv will not. The Houndstone will, will. twice, oh. as well as the Slowbro. Nice. So yeah, because this is also our rare. So we have one, two, three, four points. Bam. On the pack. So four points on the pack and bring them to 19 on the season. Have we had a single chase card yet? That's what I was saying. I don't You're recognize right. any of these cards at all. Oh my goodness. Let's just double check something here. Make sure we didn't like accidentally pull from the wrong set or something. All right, Ben, next up we have Afropunk. Coming into the day with seven points, so they are looking for a five-point pack to try and land themselves at Big Steve, or else obviously something just massive. Something just massive, which by the way, the quality eighth place uh, position is currently held by one person who is Shalini, who only had one pack on the <coughs> entire season. Wow, one, Shalini. One and done. Um, but and Braun is in a prime spot to knock off Shalini just one point behind. One point behind, So no matter yeah. what, they will at least tie for eighth place, if not, uh, take over the spot themselves whenever we get there. This is but if they're very... not careful and they go to 43, they'll knock Robbie Cruz into eighth place. So, right. well, bronze pack holds a lot in it. A lot of emphasis on the on the outcome of today's All scoreboard. Right. But in the meantime, let's check out Afropunk's pack. Afropunk, yeah, what do we got? Toad School, Sandow, Houndzoom, score. Fido scores, Bombardier, Hypno scores, yep. Beach Court, Curlia scores, Brigatito, and Cloth. So a four-point four point pack, pack off four cards. 
So not too bad, but not the five points that we were looking for. Oh my gosh, so close. 11 on the season. So tying with Steven, but not quite getting into the uh, range. For Big Steve. For Big yeah, Steve, there yeah. There we go. All right, Ben, you have got Faith. Faith. All right, Faith. Faith who has eight points, so they are looking for a four-point pack as well. All right, Faith, let's see what we got for let's you see, today. Let's see. Four, four points. Got the Dark Teardrop, the Hound Door, the Drifloon will score, scores. the Satoddle, the Varoom, the EXP Share, the Penny, the Medicham, the Florigato will not score, the Pontiard will not score, but the Banette Banette will! Honestly, that, I mean, it could be a three-point card. Let's take a peek real quick. Number Even if it's only a two-point card, you'll actually get the extra one because it's a it's an eyeball card. Unfortunately, the Banette only comes in. It's a bit of a bulk uh, EX card. It's going to come in at seventy-two cents. It rounds up to one plus oh, so an additional it's just three points. Yes, just oh, three no! points. Man, so oh, man. close! So another eleven-point season back to back. People are starting to fall all over that big Steve zone. I know it's so wild how it happens. And as ever, I mean, I know I've said it before, but it's just unbelievable to me the way that Big Steve's packs have managed to like sit right in the middle of the bell curve. Like right. just. He really just is kind of like the middle of the pack performer so far. So far, yeah. But if you've ever met Big Steve in real life, that guy's got magic fingers and he can pull some pretty unbelievable stuff. That he can. All right, next up, Emily Stock. It's one of our mods over on Discord. If you it, want to come it, hang indeed, out there. Indeed, yeah. Emily, big supporter of the channel. Thank you for all you do for us. Uh, Emily's coming in with four points on the season herself, so she's looking for maybe an eight point pack here. Okay. But bam, let's see it. Raucous Pummeling. Still no eyeball. We're waiting None for whatsoever. it. None whatsoever. It's got to show up soon. Sandal, Marie, Silk Cobra, Jack, Florigato, EXP Share, Maradon yeah. does score. Riolu? No, sorry. I keep yep. thinking I the Riolu know. score, but they don't. Oh, and the Oink Alone! Nice! Right, so there you go, Emily. Very nice. Two scoring cards. The Oink Alone, I want to say, is worth more than a dollar, but not much more. Let's see. Comes in at two dollars even. Two even. So oh, it's a penny off a point. I know. So just that is an unfortunate no situation. Rounding. So just three points on three that pack points right there. there. Going to bring Emily to seven on the season. There we go. Let's see. That that Oink Alone headed headed your way for you, Emily. There yes, you go. Is. Ba -ba All right. Next up, we have. Oh, is this another big contender? Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop is currently in 10th place overall with 37 points, so another one that could potentially shake up oh, that quality 8th place eighth position. 8th place position and or, I suppose, the top spot. They're in higher striking distance, but it's still pretty far. That would be, I mean, yeah, like you're, you're talking about, yeah, getting in the category of 60 you know, plus points. Yeah, it's pretty rough, it's pretty rough, but not impossible, I mean, it's happened. Let's see, Shadow Loop. So how many points do they need to disrupt 8th place? So they're at 37, so they need to get... At least 5 to tie. 5 to tie. 6 to pass. 6 to pass. So they want... They want six, but then they tie with Robbie Cruz, and then it becomes then it becomes a battle for mm. that's a total rare card value probably yep. again. Yep. But then Bronze has a pack too, so really difficult to see. Let's see, fire. So still okay. no eyeball All right. energy. All right, Scatterbug, Drifloon will score. score. Oh, Flittle scores. We're coming up to five already. Staraptor, the potion doesn't. The Drifloon will score again, and the Palmon. Oh no, it's just so four, four points. points. Oh, oh my God, Shadow it's Loop. It's gonna tie it's gonna with end at forty-one with Bron. Oh, man. Oh, no. oh, so It close. seemed like a run. I mean, that was I a know. That was We a started good so showing. strong on that pack. And what's crazy what? is next season, this would have been a critical hit. I know. And it would have been an eight-point pack instead. That is wild. Yeah, so we, we, we have a new rule starting next season wherein if uh, the same card shows up inside of the same pack, it'll, it'll make the whole pack worth double. And if you already have the type advantage energy card, then you can actually quadruple. So yes, you can. There is the potential for some pretty wild stuff There's to happen There's some pretty wild season. stuff, and there are these like foil energies and gold energies, which uh, it's never happened, but you could... If you managed to pull like the gold energy and the matching type advantage, and that was the right card for the day, you could have four times. Right. So there is up to an eight times value to be had in the game starting next season. Which is going to be absolutely, I mean, it would be the most bonkers alignment of the stars. Yeah, but you would, I mean, and then, and then it'd probably still be like a t like 12 point pack or something. Right, 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 yes. <laughs> or, uh, no, you can't at that point, it has to be at least eight. Oh, it doesn't matter. All right. Next up is Beck Squad, who has got seven points on the season. All right, Beck Squad. So looking for looking for five, or or you know, ninety nine. 
you know, something massive. Something massive. Let's see it, Beck Squad. I, I mean, I, they, there could be there could be a good feeling. Here. Man, I feel like we've never gone this far without getting the type advantage. No, it's it's pretty unusual. Let's see. So we got the Scatterbug, the Drifloom, which good showing start. Up good left start. Right yes, center. Flittle. Yep. Got the Flittle, so that's two. The Kilowattro, the Greedent, the Crocodile, the Houndor. Uh oh, this Bathra. That will score only Once. one. And, and the Annihilate. Oh my gosh, the number of people getting one point off is Crazy! Another eleven point finish. Man, that is, that is they're just like mount. Everybody is just like hanging out with Big Steve. And maybe that's what people are really aiming for. It's just right. like a Big Steve party. Just hanging out with Big Steve, right? Let's see. Yeah, how many people are currently? Let's see. Coming into the day from fifty four to sixty four, so at least ten people, if if not more, are currently uh, tied with Big Steve. <sighs> Craziness. All right. Next up, we have Narwhal King who has eight points on the season, so if I had to guess, this is a three-point pack based on the way everyone else is falling. Narwhal, narwhal, swimming through the ocean, causing a commotion. Let's see, what do we got? Are we gonna get the eyeball energy? Nope, more fireball. We have the Go-Goat, the Riolu, the Scatterbug, Shuppet will score, the Stonjourner, Peppy, Pe Penny, Double Penny! Wow, again, see, this is why we put this rule in. Drowsy and Cyclozar. What did I tell you? It's a three-point pack. Oh my god. Man. The so is that yet another person? Who finishes at 11 points on the season. Boy, the data is like becoming predictable. Like I don't know, like uh, just the way our game is designed almost feels like it's aiming towards an average of 11 all of a sudden. I know, it's very interesting. Yeah, it's now that we're into this final uh, pack here. All right, here we go. We've got Lauren coming up. Not we to be confused with another Lauren who's currently Lauren in second B. place. Yes, or Lauren B. Just regular Lauren. Right, yeah, just, just Lauren. But Lauren, not, not just Lauren. Right, correct. Because it is another Lauren. Full title, another Lauren. There is, it's all very confusing. It's all very confusing. Anyway, Lauren is up. She has five points on the season. Shout out to all the Laurens who watch the show. Thank you so much. We couldn't do it without you, almost <clears throat> literally. All right, let's all right, see. So we were, we're looking for seven, so we'll probably get six. And there we go. So we got the Magikarp, the Magnemite, the Tarantula, the Pokemon Catcher, the Quaxwell, the Cyclozar, the Toad's Rule, the Palmy will not score, the Wiglet will not score, but the Professor- Research, that's going to be a one point pack if one. ever I saw it. Unfortunately, that's going to be six points on the season for Lauren. Man. There we go. Well, I said we'd get six, and I was sort of right. Sort of right. Sort of right. Six in a capacity, six in a way. Yes. I feel like we're do something though. Okay, this is oh, here Dom. Here we go. We have next. Dom. This is another. Uh, Dom is sitting at twenty sixth on the leaderboard. They've got uh, twenty two points so far. So they're you know in striking distance of like maybe disrupting eighth place or you know full on taking the lead if they get something wild. But something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we're still we're still waiting on something that's like a heavy hitter in today's episode. We, we still really are. We haven't hit anything like more than I think two points is the max. And as we know from the last episode. It can come at any point. The last pack. The even. last pack, even. Metal energies, no eyeballs in here, and not a single chase card has showed itself. Not one. That's so wild. All right, so Viper, the Houndor, the Satado, the Magikarp, the Electric Generator, the Wug Trio, the Judge, the Tropius does not score, the, the Dedenne will, will, and oh, back to back man. researches. Wow. So that's two points for. Dom, that is going to, what, bring him up to 24 on the season? Could you imagine going into the card shop, buying two packs, and having two Professor Researches as your your two rare cards? You'd buy, well, like, well, all right. okay. I guess it's usable. Yeah, that'd be such a bummer. I mean, it is playable, but, you know, I've probably got like 100 versions of it myself. There we go. So let's see. Um, we've got Mots up. Mots, who currently has six points currently on the season. Has six points. Mots is looking for six more points to get into the big Steve position. All right, Mots. Let's see it. Let's see it. Something big, dude. Mots is actually also one of our moderators. That's true. Our Discord. Yeah, Thanks shout for out to all the you do. Discord. There's a No eyeballs. Too. All right, we got the Sviper, the Houndor, the Citadel, the Magikarp, the Flamigo, the Ferretris, the Rocky Helmet, the Toad School doesn't score, the Starly does! does! Oh my gosh! Finally, and the Armor Rouge! Wow, Mox, thanks for proving that there are Starlies in this set. I, oh my interestingly, goodness. though, that it is a reverse hollow. So I know, yeah, yeah, so we went from none at all to, like, the rarer version of Starly. So it's just going to be two points for Mox, bringing him to eight on the season. Well done, sir. Well done. Thank you for your um, contestment, contestant ship. That's the word. I that's don't know. A, thanks for one. playing is hey, what I'm yeah, trying hey, to say. Yeah, hey, thanks for showing up. Thanks for being a part of the game. Next up is Justin H, who has 17 points and has been collecting for 20 years. Oh my gosh. So you're all, you know, you know all the tricks of the trade. 
you'd think at this point. All right, do you have enough in you to pull an eyeball energy? No, you don't. Okay, well, I cannot believe it. We're like halfway through the box. Oh, this is unreal. Chansey, Rare Candy, the Pido, the Dedenne, the Pachirisu, the Picnic Basket, the Bombardier, the Growl, the Zangoose does not score. The Arbeliva does. Man. Three points. Boy, I feel like we're building towards something. I know, we must be. I mean, it's, I, I, I always get a, a two minds like when we're this far in and nothing has happened yet. I because know. like, part of me is like, gosh, this. I feel like it, it makes for like a, like a less thrilling episode, but right. it's also like the tension's building. The potential energy is building. Boy, it's the, I guess uh, maybe stack uh, or maybe cat stacked all the mods into one box. We have Dakota next up. Dakota, yes, who we also do gaming with once a month. So yes, that's that's a cool tier in case you've ever wanted to play video games with us. That's okay, so Dakota has three points. We mentioned Dakota earlier. Uh, so she might if she gets a single point pack here, she could be in like might be last place contention. Could be in last place contention, yes. And I think so far the hilarious thing about this is that Dakota is at our current highest tier uh, for the gaming Patreon. And so far I think she has gotten almost exclusively like kind of only okay packs. Yeah. We've had a, a three, a five, a two, a seven, a four, a two, a six, a one, and a two. Wow, so Dakota so, looking for something big. Dakota's like, come on. It's funny because she signed up to do the gaming with us, but then you immediately get opted into this game. It's true. Yeah, yes, so, um, you know, she's just sort of playing by default. <laughs> it's, and that's right, yeah. So we got the Clauncher, the Dollop, the Quaxley, the Ponyard, the Mousehold, the Vitality Band, the Toxitricity, the Indeedy will score, hey. the Cloth will score, and then Meowth the Scarado will wow. score. So, so three rare cards, but um, a g kind of still a generally like disappointing I overall know. pack. So three points for Dakota. Man, what's crazy to me is that once upon a time, pulling the Meowth Scarada, like and that would look like this would have been the same as pulling like a Venusaur. But if you opened a Venusaur, it would have been mind blowing the best day of your life. Yes, it's Whereas so true. Whereas this is like, oh, Meowth Scarada. Oh, Meowth Scarada. All okay. right, then. Okay, grass starter. Who cares? All right, Ben, next up we have Justin Jump, a.k.a. Jario. Jario! Because it's like Jumpman, but like Jario. Jump Man, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah so... Uh, Jario here has 11 points on the season thus far, so they're looking for a single point pack to hit up there with uh, Big Steve. I mean, it's not impossible, we've seen it, but there is a lot of eyeball uh, Pokemon floating around. Not Although, to mention, thus far, no eyeball energy. None whatsoever. That's another one of those things, like, where if you had gone to the store and bought, like, 16 packs, and you were like, I need a psychic energy, and still didn't get one, you'd be like, what is that? That was thing? weird. Yep, okay, so there's the Curlia, that will score. The Fubicoco, Tropius, Flamigo, Crocodile, another Fortress. Did I say that? No. Nope, not fine. Okay, the Cacturn. <gasps> oh! Oh. Illustrator Art Spide Opsiex, that's awesome, and the Rever Room for another final point there. I love this Spide Opsiex. Me too, especially because if you look right here, you can see a Scyther you butt. Can. A Scyther butt. A Scyther butt! Right, any card with a Scyther on it is good. Yeah, in any capacity whatsoever. So the Spide Opsiex is going to come in at $4.68, so okay, that's so five, five points. Five, six, seven. So that is also, I think, Guardian. our most valuable card of the day so far. Oh my so. goodness. Congratulations to uh, to Jario there. That's a really fun card to have headed your direction. Finishing at 18 points on the season, so obviously doesn't land at the Big Steve spot at 12, but does get um, the best pack of the day so far. There we go. You know, the other thing I'm excited to see happen, and this will happen next week when we open up um, Steve, Big Steve's first three packs for next season, yeah. is at some point in time, Big Steve is gonna pull something wild. Oh, there's no doubt. And it's gonna be like, like quality eighth place Big Steve, gonna be like right there in the same position. Right. All right, next up we have Aiden. Wait, is it me? I think it's you. It's me, here we go, Aiden is up. They've got 20 points on the season, so they're going pretty solid. Not a bad showing whatsoever, uh, tied there with Wes Levy and Ken's. Yes, it does mean that it's Ken's a little bit harder for them to be playing for like, like a, um, you know, that big Steve spot, which feels like you only need a couple of points normally to jump right, into there. Yeah. Whereas to get like into eighth place, you're gonna need something big, but you know, here we go, let's go. Pineco, the Flittle Full scores, scores yeah, the, the Drowsy, the, the Hypno. Hypno. So we're doing good. Sandaconda, Clawitzer, the Sandile will not score, and, and the Dondo. So. so four scoring cards, not too bad at all. It's going to land you at 24 points for the season. Nothing to sneeze at. Nothing whatsoever. Although I do sneeze a lot, personally. Yeah, when Jay gets started on sneezing, it's just like for the next like 20 minutes, it's just like a whole bunch of Gesundheits. There's no doubt. It's really frustrating sometimes. All right, but we have Sydney Steele, who has another interesting spot here. She's got 11 points. 
So wants just the one coin. This is Sydney does not want to see the eyeball energy or any psychic Pokemon at all. Oh, oh of course. You said of course, it. I finally I jinxed you, Sydney. I'm so sorry. So clean out of 11th place. We know that much for sure. Yeah. Uh, the energy switch, the Varum, the Clauncher, the Mabastiff. Otherwise, you'd be doing. I know right you'd now. be doing the so Oinkolo, good. The Spirit Tomb, the Magic Carp, the Rare Tomb Candy, and, and the oh, Magnezone okay. So it wasn't. Okay. I didn't totally jinx you. Full Art Magnezone EX, and it's going to be multiplied times two. And right, so that's going to be two dollars seventeen cents. We'll round up to three times two is going to be six points six on the pack. Six point. So pack. kind of a there sleeper, like really waiting until that last card Ooh. to do anything at all, but taking a little bit advantage of the. Uh, of the eyeball energy there, which yeah. also probably means there's a good chance this next pack will also have an eyeball. You're energy. right, the way it's been going. There we go. Here we go. So 17 on the season for Sydney Steel. Next up is Chadster. Chadster! All right, Chadster. Can we get back to back eyeballs here? Who also, Chadster, has 11 points on the season. Oh my so gosh, far. wow. So would it be so funny if they're like the two people immediately get out of 12 points because they put the eyeball. Let's find out. Is it going to be like that? No, oh, it's not. No, okay, it's not. so, so Chadster wants nothing in this pack. Nothing at all. Oh, Too the bad. Baby. They Too. did it. They did it. You're out. The Miriam, the Terran Tool, the Youngster, and the Mirage. Oh, also, so, barely out. So close to getting there. Oh, the oh, Miraidon, which we know is a 10 cent card, too. Uh, that would have been That would have been good, but unfortunately, it's not. But unfortunately, just yeah, not, not helpful whatsoever. Yep. Anyway, That's there you go, Chadster. You got a Maridon coming your way, and you can uh, just be mad at that Flittle forever. There we go. Next up is Stefan and Susie. Now, last week it felt like all the couples were like stumbling. They could not get more than a couple of points together themselves. Maybe Stefan and Susie can break the trend. Yeah, just just really show show everybody what couple goals truly looks like. Exactly. Let's see, we've got the raucous pummeling energy. Oh, fitting there, also crossfitters. And a crushing hammer. Wow. Yes. Oh, then we got Starless. the Starly. Look at these guys. The the little. Little. Everything about this pack seems the good. Forges. Let's see the the, the muck, muck, the, the grimer. grimer, full um, evolution line. There we go. We got the watch roll and the, the cyclozar. Well, it was so. an exciting pack. It was very on brand. You guys was... can, at least both of you have two points now, so that's something to take to the bank. There you go. That's going to be nine points on the season for. Stefan and Susie. Well done, guys. Well done. You can ride that Cyclozar to the gym. All right, next up is Maddie. Maddie! Who has got four points on the season, so what are we looking for? Eight points in this pack? You know, I, I am curious as to whether or not this is Maddie, if there's any relation to, oh, to Tyler. Tyler. Oh, because you're right. It is possible. Okay, anyway. Who knows? Or just a coincidence, you guys could be friends. Wow, all right. Here we go. Teardrop energy. We have Nimona, Lechonk, Krauth, Flabebe scores. Katie, Star Raptor does not. Electric Generator does oh, not. Mola. And, and oh, the Slowbro. The, slow bro. the oh. beautiful art Slowbro. That has been all, every single pack this season, Maddie ended on two points for a total of six. So very consistent player. There we go, the Maddie. Least. Might even be their second slow bro. Who knows? All right, uh, next up we have Bobby. Bobby. Bobby with two Ys. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, Bobby's Hot and Cheesy, which is a pizza establishment here in in Roanoke, Virginia. Mm. I, have to make, I definitely got me craving pizza. Right. All right, so we got the got the metal energy there. We got the Skiddo, the Quaxley, was I think last week, maybe Tarantula, the Watchroll, the Ultra Brawl, the Espathra will score, the Arvin will not, the Slowpoke, the Dolive will not, and the Revaroo. So two points on the pack for Bobby. That's gonna bring that to nine on the season. There we go. Bam. Can you get yourself some breadsticks or something? Yeah, right. No rookies in this class, though. That's true, I know. Yep, all right, next up we have Brant. Was Brant? No, Brant's at 18 points, so they're not doing too bad. Yeah, honestly, I've been impressed with this season in particular. I feel like we've just had like some high scoring packs all together. I mean, people above 15, I mean, Enselman is in 38th coming into the day with 17, so. Dark Teardrop Energy. Ralts will score, Grouse, Shuffle, Shuffle will score, yeah. Spear Tomb, Ultra Ball, Spathra, Kilowatro does not, Mouse Hold does not. Ooh, and a Great Tusk! Hey, that's kind of fun. Number 123 fun. on the set. We'll Looks take a look like, at that. Looks like bulk EX, if you ask me, X. It is indeed. But... 69 cents. We'll round up to a single point there uh, for you. It's, the number of packs where people have scored like four with four cards or so has been crazy to me. Yes, we've definitely had that kind of day, which is honestly sort of surprising as well because we really have not had, I don't think we've had a Mankey or Lucario uh, show themselves at all. Right. <sighs> all right, next up we have Tex. Tex! We're heading to Texas. 
next week, y'all, for we RTX. RTX. RTXs. There's the Mankey. There it is. There it is, indeed. So we've got the lightning bolt energy. The Mankey is the correct well, yeah, one. Yeah, right. It's not like the wrong Mankey. The Casper Kid, the Charcadet, Char Char the Potion, the Greedent, the Vivalon, the Dox Bun will score. The Crocorock will not. Oh! oh! Electric Arcuria, which is also psychic, so extra point there. Extra point there. And the Cloth. Oh, all right. right. So man. the Curly is really what to look at. That really. is a great card right there. You guys will recall it is the evolved form of this that threw Rozzy the King into first place. There we go. So number 212 on the set is worth $9.54. New most valuable card of the day. So that'll round up to 10 plus an additional point for being a yep. eyeball energy. So 11, 12, 13, 14 points. Impressive. Very impressive for old Tex Nicely there. Nicely done, Tex. That's going to bring you to 19 points on the season. And we will drop that Curlia into a sleeve for you. Dang, love the Curlia. I love the Curlia. I love the whole continuity with the um, Ralts and then Gardevoir as well. That's the full yeah did i get that right yeah okay cool. yes Ralts yes uh, so it's like a little narrative where you can kind of like watch the ralts grow up with this with this girl here it's really fun so. yes it is anyway um so really really cool and unique card headed your way ma'am i feel like they've uh they're keeping up with sort of like that that theme with like uh different uh pokemon you can clearly see there's like a story going through their evolution line yes that's really fun i think the charmander and <gasps> I know. Of course they do it with the Charmander. Of course. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, next up, we have got uh, Big Jake! Big Jake! Big Jake, who has four points on the season. All right. So All let's right. Let's see. Is a photographer. Does AV work for his church? All right. Good to hear. Good to hear. Here we go. Can we get another eyeball in the house? We cannot. They are just not. nowhere to be found today. Ralts, Tandem Mouse, Poke Gear, Wug Trio, Judge, Floatzel, Toxel, the Squavit, and the Indeedy. So just a two point pack at the end of it all Man. there. Man, unfortunate for Big J coming in at six points on the season. Jeez. Jeez, that's, that's only halfway to Big Steve. Only halfway, not quite there. All right, we've got Brian O. Brian O. Okay, so we have Dominic Toretto, AKA Dom. Yeah, who's currently in 26th place. Then we've got Brian O of yeah. Brian O'Connor right. from from the, uh, the whole Fast and the. Who would have thought all the people, all the Fast and the Furious cast were so into Pokemon? I know, I know. I wouldn't have guessed it. I wouldn't have guessed it. I wouldn't have either. But you know what? They do like to steal valuable things, and obviously they might have skipped this box. But um, that's true. That's true. All but right. that, you know what remains to be seen. <laughs> right. Yeah. You never know. You never know when something's gonna happen. We got Manky the Croc, the Mankey. There we go. The Squawkabilly, <laughs> which I have to tell you is really just not one of my favorite character arts. <laughs> like at kind all. of looks like a little bit of an Elvis bird, doesn't it? I feel it? like that must be what they're going for. Yeah. Uh, the Casper Kid, the Cacturn, the Mezagoza, the Heracross. Man, too bad we didn't have a uh, salad energy for you today. The Palmo does not score. The Mareep does not score. Oh, oh the another Spider. There you go. It does look a little <clears throat> bulky, Xy, and it I is number 19 on is. the set, which is worth 70 cents. We'll round up to just a single point, but we'll see. It, sleeve it for you either which way. There you go. Seven points on the season for Brian O. Probably Connor. Make sure, uh, make sure to protect that for you. There you go. And the Mankey, which I mean, you know, that was important <clears throat> for today's episode at least. Exactly right. Chase card acquired. Bam, next up we have Andrew P. Who's got 18 points on the season. Let's see. Started the season strong with 17 points, then yeah. followed up with a single point. So I'm thinking Andrew must have been rookie of the day back in uh, back in a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, you don't really know what Andrew was really going for though. I mean, are they going for are they going for that quality eighth place? Are they going for last place? I mean they've kind of they've had a They're variety of different uh, tactics so far. So Get the Cactor and the Mezigos, the Charcadet, the Go Go, and the Meowscarada. So just a single point out of their pack, Man. unfortunately. So started so strong, yeah, with that 17 and then closed out with two singles. Two single points packs. Man, unfortunate. Again, imagine pulling two Venusaurs out of one box once upon a time. Ugh. If you bought a base box today and pulled two Venusaurs, you'd be in good, you'd be in good, good, good company. Yeah, there's no doubt. That'd be insane. All right, next up we have Jade. Jade! Jade, who has got seven points, so they're looking for five to get into the big Steve position. All right, let's see, Jade. Do, 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 do. Can we get another eyeball energy? We cannot! There's been one! One on the what whole What is going day. on? There's only three packs left. I know, we've got the Buizel, the Energy Retrieval, the Lechonk, the Slowpoke, the Torkoal, the Scovelin, the Oinkalone, the Hypno Will Score. Yep. 
The Pokeball will not score in the Skeledurge. Again, that would have been a Charizard. I know, yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I keep saying that, like, I don't know why I'm making this comparison. Uh, well, but, I mean, uh, I understand where you're coming from, though, is that, like, back in the day, it's like, we look for all these, like, full arts and shinies and all the rest of that, and, like, like in the beginning, even this right here with, like, the holographic edges is more yeah. than what we were given back then. I so. know, right? Yeah, those original cards that was just like, yeah, there was just this one box and it was shiny. That was by, all. By the by, we are one box into the <clears throat> new silver uh, frames. Yeah. And I am already, like, if I look at a yellow frame pack, like, card, I'm like, oh, that's kind of <laughs> jarring. It's sort of weird to look at. Why was, it, why was it ever that way? I know, right? All right, next up we have Heather Lynn Ben. She has got nine points. So she wants a two-point pack here to get into Big Steve positioning. Three points. <clears throat> Three points. Yep, I got it. You're right. Math, math, math. math. We've been on so many 11s today. My brain is fried. All right, fire energy. There we go. Bam. The flow wet. That's a good start. Small of Miriam. The Lucario makes hey! an appearance. Wow, the Tarantula. Oh, the Illustrator Art Mabostive. And that's going to hurt your big Steve chances. But at least you get the Mabostive. Which is really awesome. And I don't even recognize that one on the season. So I don't yeah, think it's a cold one at all. Unique to the season as so well. So let's see. Number 218 is going to be worth $2.95. We'll round up to three, four, five, six points on the pack. There you go. Very impressive. And a cool Illustrator Art headed your direction. Man. This one's sort of adorable too. Like just like kind of like hanging out there under the under the table, just looking for some sod scraps and right? such. Right. There's like a, uh, a whole, one of the plots in the game is you're trying to heal a mabostiff, and you have to keep going around and finding all these mystic herbs Ooh. to feed to it so it can get better again. All right, so we have two packs left, one card left. Here we go. Final right. contestant of the season is zero for twelve. Can we have a big finish like we did last week? Ooh, it is, they have got five points on the season so far, so at least a seven pointer is what we're hoping for. What do you think, Maridon or the starters? Let's see, let's see. Yeah, give, give me some hand feels. Go Maridon. Okay, go all right, on. here we go, Ben. Bring us home, final pack of the season. We got this. Rosie the King this. is like, I got it, no problem whatsoever. No problem, and there's nothing better than classic overconfidence. It's never hurt anybody ever in, in the history of humanity. All right, well, we, the first time ever, we've only had a single person get the type advantage. I know, so we got the we got the Watrol, the Zangus, the Krogunk, the Dedenne will score, yep. almost missed it, the Breloom, kill a Watrol, the Heracross, we got the Tatsugiri, which will not score. The Picnic Basket, which will not score. And the Professor's Research. Research. Oh, wow. Man, womp. so we really did not have the most thrilling of episode to close out this particular season. Uh, but congratulations to Rozzy the King with that unbelievable pull last week. Yes. 106 points on the season. To take it home. The champion. The champion. And I feel like, did we end up having any other No, we didn't. Deviations? There was no shake up around the... Um the uh, eighth point spot, so we never got, but wait, did Braun, did Braun have a pack at some point? Possibly not, possibly, possibly could've, not. could've, 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 could've dropped, dropped from yeah. the game, they must have, because we didn't have. Just out of curiosity, oh, no. should we just do it? Should we just do it? I mean, it could've been either. There's always the ability oh, just to no. look. So this is, this doesn't go to anybody, this just goes this to just the house. For, we have, this is zero for 12 is now shaking in their boots, like oh, no, what zero if. Zero for 12, so what What it could have been. So, right, so you didn't miss the type advantage. So there's only one psychic energy, an entire booster box of cards, which is wow. unbelievable. The Alola Mola, the Pomo, the Toad School, the Rotom, the Defiance Band, the Drift Limb would have scored, the Nest Ball would have scored two, the Buy Sharp does not score, the Rever Room does score, and the Karaidon, so. So not that different so in yeah, the one, end. One, two, three, four, Four, five, five so, points. There yeah, you go. Nothing, nothing super. No, no love lost on that one, unless you really wanted that nest ball. Yep. <laughs> something to, uh, something to take home with you. There we go, guys. Thank you so much as ever for tuning into this season of Box Breakers. It has been so much fun. I'm getting super excited for Paldia Evolved. Yes. This is going to be our next season, which will start in the month of July 2023. So be on the lookout for that. If you are interested in signing up for a future episode of Box Breakers, head on over to Patreon.com/SuperCarlinGaming and select the Box Breakers. Here. Otherwise, congrats to all of our champions this season. Well done. We cannot wait to see you back again next season. But until then, bye! bye.